Okay, so let's start coping saw. On the right hand side we have the handle of a coping saw. Um, the handle of a coping saw is also made of durable materials such as a hardwood or a plastic for the same reason as a tent saw, long lasting, it's durable. Um, another thing with the handle is it's also used to remove or to tighten the blade on a coping saw. So if you just twist your, your handle you'll be able to loosen it to, re to release the tension on the coping saw and you can take a blade out and then you put your new blade on and you can simply just tighten up again and um, so the frame is the next thing it's it's a lot different to the coping saw or to the to a tenon saw as it's a, a d-shaped frame and the reason for the unusual shape is so that it can get into awkward places to cut you can cut out holes um, and the, the frame won't get in the way it's it's it's, it's out of the way from the blade and um, the blade itself um, the teeth are actually uh, facing towards the user so what that means is when you make a cut it's on the on the pull towards you that's when um, it'll actually cut the wood which is different to a tenon saw where a tenon saw maybe both the push and the pull this one is just the pull and um, it's held on to the actual saw just by two two pins as you can see in this sketch um, another thing with a coping saw blade is that they're easy to break so when they do get a bit blunt and um, they can snap but they're they're very cheap and they're very easy to replace so there'll be no point resharpening or anything like that you just uh, simply get a new blade